fighting for freedom. Tonight, attorneys for Omar Amin filing a federal lawsuit arguing he should be released from immigration custody. The Sacramento man, once accused of being a terrorist, is facing deportation back to Iraq. CBS 13's Lena Jones is live outside Sacramento Federal Court tonight with what his lawyers are now demanding, Belina. Yeah, that's right. His attorneys tell me tonight they decided to file that federal lawsuit right here in court because they do not trust immigration review to give their client a fair proceeding. It's just the latest in a long three-year battle. And we're talking about life and death. This is this is his life. In a federal lawsuit filed Monday, Eileen Shugel, attorney for Omar Amin, argues there's no reason why her client should still be detained. Amin was previously accused of being part of an Islamic terror group and killing a police officer in Iraq. They've never charged him with a crime. The refugee from Iraq was arrested in Sacramento in 2018 on terror charges that were eventually dropped, but he was never released. Federal authorities arrested Amin in part, claiming he lied on his refugee application. A judge previously ruled that meant he was eligible to be deported, a decision that is still being fought. If he's released from custody, that will make a huge difference. It will also allow us a bit more time in his removal proceedings because non-detained proceedings don't move quite as quickly as the detained proceedings. Shugel argues while she believes the father of four is innocent on all fronts, if he's deported, the claims against him will be a death sentence. It's impossible for someone who's accused of these activities to get a fair trial in Iraq. His removal to Iraq would lead to torture and death. A legal battle spanning over three years with still a long way to go to keep Amin in the States. It's been really challenging. He's very much committed to proving his innocence. Now, it's important to note that this is just one of the three court battles his team of attorneys is currently facing. They will be in immigration court at the end of the month to fight extradition.